Unraveling the meaning behind having a bird's brain. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning journey. Today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase, having a bird's brain. This expression is a vibrant part of the English language, filled with imagery and meaning. Let's explore what it means, where it comes from, and how you can use it in everyday conversations. The phrase, having a bird's brain, is used to describe someone who is perceived as not very intelligent or forgetful. Birds, while known for many wonderful traits, are often stereotypically viewed as having small brains relative to their body size, which leads to the assumption of limited intelligence. Thus, when someone says you have a bird's brain, they're playfully or critically commenting on your memory or intellect. This idiom's origins are not precisely documented, but it ties into the long-standing human practice of associating animals with certain traits. Over time, these associations become part of our language as metaphors or similes. Having a bird's brain is often used in informal settings, perhaps among friends in a light-hearted manner or in more negative contexts to criticize someone's thoughtlessness or lack of attention. To fully grasp how to use having a bird's brain, let's look at some examples. I forgot my keys again. I must have a bird's brain. You're studying for the test the morning of? You really have a bird's brain. These examples show the phrase can be self-deprecating humor or a playful jab at someone's moment of forgetfulness. While it's useful to learn idiomatic expressions, it's equally important to use them with cultural sensitivity. What might be humorous in one context can be offensive in another. Understanding the nuances of when and how to use such phrases is crucial in effective communication. Thank you for joining me today to explore the meaning behind having a bird's brain. Idioms like this enrich our language, adding color and depth to our conversations. Remember, language learning is not just about memorizing words but understanding the culture and context behind them. I hope you found this video helpful, and I look forward to our next linguistic adventure together. Happy learning!